while it is beautiful, it is my worst designer purchase. Welcome to Lifestyle with Isabella, ladies. Here we learn to look the best while being our best selves. One of the inconveniences about buying a Chanel handbag is that we cannot buy it online. We have to go to the store and buy it. The second inconvenience is when we want that one particular Chanel handbag, but it's sold out in the stores. This handbag is so beautiful. This is the kind of handbag I had to have. My life would be incomplete kind of handbag because it is gold in color and gold is my second favorite color and the finish on the leather which is a crocodile embossed finish makes this handbag very resilient to wear and tear the odds are i'm going to have this handbag for so 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 many years I'm going to be buried with it. But there was a problem. When I came to the realization that my life would be incomplete unless I had this handbag, this handbag was sold out in the stores. Online stores for pre-loved luxury. These stores are very useful when we don't feel like going to the store to buy a Chanel handbag or we don't live close to a Chanel boutique or case in point with the gold handbag I wanted it's already sold in the stores. Let me ask you ladies did you ever get lucky? <laughs> I got lucky April 2020 I got lucky when I found my so desired gold handbag at Vestair Collective. Vestair Collective is an online store for pre-loved luxury and they had the handbag I wanted. I did not care. The handbag was already about a thousand dollars more than it was in the stores just a few months earlier. I bought the handbag, but you knew there was a but coming, don't you? After I made my purchase, I received an email from Vestir Collective to let me know the seller did not have the handbag anymore. I don't know why they did not have the handbag. May I, I suppose they sold it before I purchased it. I don't know. The handbag was gone. Now, even though my credit card was charged, Vestir Collective gave me a full refund, so financially didn't cost me anything. Still, I thought I had the handbag, but yet I did not. I was very disappointed because this was the second time this happened with trying to purchase a Chanel handbag through Vestir Collective. I tried to purchase three handbags from Vestir Collective. One of the handbags, I purchased it, I received it, everything was great. Two of the handbags, one of them being the gold handbag. After I made the purchase, I was told the seller did not have the handbag anymore. Two months later, in June, do you want to guess what happened again? Yes, I got lucky again. I found the same handbag on Fashion File. Fashion File is another online store for pre-loved luxury, but unlike Vestair Collective, the items we see on Fashion File, Fashion File already has in their possession. So the idea of us purchasing something, receiving an email that the item is gone, that's not going to happen. Plus, all the things that are sold on Fashion File have already been authenticated. Did I pronounce that correctly? As long as you understand what I'm trying to say. So 
fashion file has already made sure that all the items are authentic much better so once we make a purchase the item is going to ship very fast usually within a day now online shopping has a negative to it especially <laughs> okay the embarrassing part comes especially when there is something we really 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 want like i really really wanted that gold handbag and then we find it and we impulsively click buy i'll show you what i'm talking about when i bought my beloved my life is complete now handbag <laughs> when i bought this handbag i also bought this it's a chanel clutch matches my handbag while it is beautiful it is my worst designer purchase i didn't realize how small it was i can't even fit my phone or my husband's reading glasses the other issue with online shopping when the impulse hits us and we are ready to order now buy now what are the odds of going to grab a tape measure and analyzing the dimensions of whatever we want to buy if i saw that clutch in person in the store i would have never bought it i thought of selling it back at fashion file whenever we purchase something at fashion file they automatically gives us a buyback price for instance, I paid, I believe, $1,955 for that clutch and Fashion File would buy it back from me for about $1,300. When I was researching for this video, I realized that, and I didn't know it before, that I can actually return something at Fashion File. I think I can still return the clutch, but I have this fear that the moment I'm not gonna have it anymore. That's when I'm going to need it. I don't believe I'm ever going to need it because it's just so small. So instead, I'm just going to wear it when I walk my doggies. Whew, my bed is made. Multitasking. Ladies, are you a Chanel lover like I am? If you are, you know how important it is to do our research before making a purchase. One of the issues, do we want a boy Chanel handbag or do we want the classic flap? My latest video on Chanel handbags addresses this issue. I have the video here. I'm also linking it below in the description. I recommend to watch it if you want to avoid some of the mistakes I did. Thank you, ladies. See you in the next video.